Hello, I am Sean Bolduck. This is Victoria Anderson. We're both students on the Class of Float 2011-2012 program. Class of Float is a Canadian program which lets students board a tall ship, which is a type of sailing ship, to go around the world and at the same time do their high school education. We are right now aboard the Sirlande, which is a Norwegian tall ship, the oldest of its kind, right? Yep. Built in 1927 and we'll just do a quick tour of the ship to show you guys what it's all about. And our life on board. So. We are now aboard the tall ship named Sirlandet, as you can see, which is a Norwegian tall ship. This uh, ship is a fully rigged ship, meaning it has uh, five yards on each of its three masts and staysails and all that good stuff. This is the helm. Yes. What is the helm, Victoria? The helm? What we use to steer the ship. Interesting. Yes. Oh, so if we start moving forward, you could see that uh, basically everything's made out of wood. That is a pinnacle where in the old times they used to steer with a compass. And basically since it's a tall ship, everything works with ropes, meaning that you'll see lots of these things which are pins where ropes are laid onto. Right now we are on the part of the ship that's called the aft deck, which is on the aft part of the ship, which means the back and you also have a surlanded bell which is used to communicate with whoever's on the forecastle which is at the front of the ship and you have a chart which is very hard to see right now because of the lighting and the dust but that's what we would steer by in the modern days GPS and all that stuff we have another compass right there and the chart house. What's in the chart house, Vic? All the navigational equipment. Yeah, that the captain would use to make us go to the right places. Down to the main deck. Main deck is the main deck. More of those ropes everywhere. Oh yeah, and since today is the 24th of December, well, we've got a nice lamb cooking. Christmas tree stuff and anything particular about the main deck you'd like to mention Victoria? Anything about the main deck? This yeah. is where we spend most of our time during the day. Yeah. Ex apart from down in the banyard. And this is the galley. The kitchen. The kitchen basically where we have teachers preparing our meal for tonight and Carlos our cook which is preparing our meal for tonight. Um, galley, we as students have to do galley once every six days, meaning help the cook with all the cooking and all that stuff. And if we keep going forward, look, more of these ropes. This is uh, the forecastle, which is the forecastle, the front part of the ship. We have the anchor's winch here. We also have the heads, which are basically... This is the girl's side? Yeah, the girl's side's toilet which are called heads and the guy's side's toilets which has a saying on it for now wow <laughs> also showers. we have showers notice the high uh, stamp this is the guy's side showers um, usually we would have three pumps which is that button right there but right now we're sort of on a water shortage we can't shower. We can't shower. Reserve water. We actually can shower, but not on in the heads. We have that bucket set up, which we would spray fresh water from shore. And oh, let's go on to the forecastle. Oh, by the way, these are funnels in which we would be sick in, if you know what I mean. Oh. Uh, the, yeah. Um, that's the bowsprit, which is sort of like a mast, but in the front of the ship. We've got what's that? The anchor winch. The, the anchor. anchor. Yeah. We have anchors, cause sometimes we anchor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're a ship. 
you know. So. We also have another Sri Lanka bell. And by the way, Christensen, our home port, yeah, 1927. That was when it's built, where it's built. And this, oh, I won't drink it just because. <laughs> but you would communicate with that other bell, which is in the back of the ship, to say, oh, there's ships in front. Since there's always a guy that'll be standing here looking out to things. At 24 hours a day while we're at sea. Same thing with the helm. There's always some guy standing at helm holding it at every hour of the day. Back down! Woo. Um, shall we go down to the bosun shop? The bosun shop. Steep stairs down to bosun shop. Bosun is basically like the handyman of the ship that knows sailing. We have a bunch of tools, bunch of lockers, more tools. It's where we fix stuff, build things. Students work in here sometimes. Because students are all crafty and artsy, right? <laughs> Hello, I'm a crafty and arty, artsy student. What did I tell ya? Exactly. <laughs> Watertight door here, like there are many on the ship. The nest. <laughs> uh, we're down in the banyer right now, which is probably some Norwegian word to me. That's it's like means. a huge. It's the trainee cabin. It's the trainee cabin. This is all where we eat, we live, and this is the pantry of the banyer, which is uh, where we cook, serve food. So galley up there is where you cook it. Pantry down here is where you serve it. We have a bunch of knots more knots and in the banner right now it's Christmas so we don't have any duties people could play games do hellos yeah they're they're too much into that game watch movies yeah play more games I do Hey Sean, I've been hoarding it the oh. whole time. So all the students live down here. Yeah, we basically all live down here. Uh, yeah, we have sea chests, which look like just benches, but are filled with stuff. We have, yeah, they're like, yeah. We have um, um, these, which go up and become bunks where we could sleep, which get held. Yeah, they go down in the day so we could sit, eat and all that good stuff and now we're the guy's side because the other side was the girl's side empty and barren except for connor hello connor uh interesting uh we we are we're good we have portholes because we're on the ship what else is back here these are the backward nooks which are basically the same thing. Hello. All right. And these are cabins for teachers and cook and lockers for students, which are filled with things. For example, this is mine. Whoa, it's full. Probably can't see much, but it's full. And yeah. Is there anything else, Victoria? Not that much. We could go into the ballast. We could go into the ballast. Walk through the banyan once again. There are also the aft cabins, which are in the back of the ship underneath the aft deck. But we won't go in there because it's all the officers' cabins and all that. This is the ballast. Yeah, we have tools and all that. We have a fridge, of course. Fridge. It's just filled with food. And we have a freezer too. Freezer, which is filled with food. And, well. Dry storage for all of our food. So thanks for joining us on our tour of the ship and hope to see you all soon. 
And our next port, 